Yo, what's up YouTube, and this is Anti Bushido again. I'm going to talk about today about Ubuntu Tweak. Now, to own, to get Ubuntu Tweak, you'll just go to Ubuntu Software Center. And this is just to uh, tweak or jazz up your Ubuntu operating system just a tad bit more than what Compass or what you would do with the, the GTK themes. So you'll just type in Ubuntu Tweak, and there you go. It'll come up Ubuntu Configuration Tool, and just go ahead and download that. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to show you what it does. You could also um, get these little thing robots, these uh, what do you say, these uh, widgets that shows Wi-Fi and um, the Wi-Fi, the CPU, um, how much disk space you're using. But there's plenty of other things that you can add on to that. I'm going to show that to you in just a sec. So let's just go to Ubuntu Tweak. And it comes up and it's loading. Now first you're going to have to do some uh, updates for Ubuntu Tweak because it's kind of like a software center in a general of its own um, but mainly to get the little widget that's up here you would go to applications and go all the way down to I think it was screenlets um, let me see here I hear you screenlets and just go ahead and just tap on that and go ahead and apply it and it'll download it for you and once it's downloaded you just go up here in applications and it should be somewhere in accessories and just type in uh, click on screenlets and here you have a whole bunch of things that you can add to your uh, desktop and just jazz it up a little bit. Me personally, I've been looking for the ring sensors for a while and it is pretty awesome. Just double click on that and one will come up over here. And you can just drag it wherever you want on the screen. doesn't really matter. And you would personally go right click and <laughs> just click on it and right click <coughs> <Arc. laughs> oh, there we go and just go to properties go to options and sensors and you can choose which sensor to display if you want the CPU, RAM, that or temperature whatever you want even the Wi-Fi so this is experiment with it if you want uh, all I did was just uh, change the just change the uh, the colors on it so it'll just match my background look neat and all and there's other things that you could add this is just for the screenlet manager um, another thing that you could go to is uh, startup login and you can set like your own personal logo and in the past, you used to be able to just uh, choose a theme that you would want for when you get to uh, the password screen. But for some reason, to compensate, they wanted to make a, a faster boot. So they made it so you couldn't do that anymore, which was messed up. But with this, you can basically make uh, put a background for your uh, login screen. All you have to do is just unlock it type in your password for the computer and just choose a, a picture that you want for example uh, let's see here I got some pictures and downloads here and I want to choose that one because it's pretty neat and whenever it boots up you'll see that screen and this little white box right there for you to type in your um, to type in your, your password and everything and username and the bad thing about it is just it'll still say it'll still have the little white box right there which is I want to customize that and I'm gonna find out how one day and I'm gonna put
put it up on the, uh, YouTube. But as for right now, it's just the background, and also you can change your logo, uh, screen logo, when it boots up too. Uh, sessions, you can automatically save applications when it, you log out and go to a different user or shut down. And you can suppress this, uh, yeah, restart and shut down configuration dual box thing. I didn't really mess with that that much, but it's awesome. Um, you can do um, compass settings. You can configure which workspace that you want to do, like uh, show workspace, show windows, or widgets, or whatever. Um, you can enable, enable window snapping, transparency in windows. It's just little extra fe features to just jazz up things. And let's say you're just coming from uh, Windows or whatever. And you really like to show your computer icon or your home folder or show the trash. And this is kind of what's similar to Fedora Linux if you're, um, well, if you're familiar with it. Um, it automatically comes with those not what Ubuntu doesn't show that but what Ubuntu tweet you can have all that just put on your desktop if you want but me personally I like a I like a nice little clean look to my desktop so and plus really if I really needed anything I'll just go to Gnome Do and just type in downloads or documents or whatever or shut down if I wanted to and it just works the same and I highly recommend Gnome Do um, other than that, I haven't really went to more details with this, but you can, I guess, show icons and menus if you want it, menu settings, uh, show icon buttons. This is a whole array of things that you can do, personal, um, folders, just make sure you just don't screw up anything in those, though, because you might have to redo things. But all in all, this is, um, I highly recommend you doing through Tweak and go try it out for yourselves you might like it in the end um, you can also update have a put like um, different packages or PPA sources in here but like I said before go get your Ubuntu tweak it's awesome so this is that type of shit up see you later